Good morning, boys and girls, and yeah, <clears throat> I am back after about a year. Holy crap, how long has it been? Has it been a year, really? Yeah, I think it has. Well, let's see. I think it was April or something was my last LP, but what the hell. So how are you guys doing? Jesus Christ, I mean, yeah, it's been a while since you heard the sound of my voice, I guess. Um, I've been posting comments, at least. I've been somewhat active on YouTube, just not uploading videos. And, yeah. I don't know. Anyways, I decided to do Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, uh, well, for two reasons. The straw that broke the camel's back, I got a few requests to keep on doing these, so... I figured, what the hell, if I'm such a popular guy, why not just... I don't know. Why not feed the fire, I guess, what little fire there is left. Uh, you can call this kindling, I guess. Assuming that I choose to have the fire going anytime after this. <sighs> what am I even saying anymore? Shoot, so... Yeah, this is Mike Tyson's punch out. I guess I'll tell you the basics of the of the controls here. You can do a left punch with the B key, or the B button rather, on the controller, or a right punch with the A button on the controller. And you can choose to do a low punch if you just push nothing on the D-pad, or a high punch if you choose to uh, uh, hit up on the on the D-pad. Ooh, boy, man, and <laughs> boy, th this game, uh, man, I. I pl uh, this is like one of the first games I ever rented from the video store, like, at all. Um, and it wasn't even me that rented it, actually. It was my brother. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm kicking the crap out of this guy. Yeah, normally you can beat him a lot faster if you, uh, if you uh, hit him in the stomach right when he goes back to do his super fucking uppercut thing, which doesn't hit for anything at all. <laughs> and these first two guys, Von Kaiser and Glass Joe... Uh, you could just wail on them. All you gotta do is just throw punches any which way but loose. And you'll fucking, you'll beat them. For sure. You won't lose. Uh, it gets a lot harder after the second guy, though. So, um, just get ready for that if you're planning on to being ambitious with this game and actually beating it. This guy goes down every time you do an uppercut. Now, the way to get uppercut is to get stars. To get stars, you have to do counter punches. And that's not the same as uh, dodging a punch like that and stunning an enemy. No, you have to counter a punch as he's punching or doing something. Um, and even that doesn't work every single time you, you do it. But uh, you get the basic gist of that. Now, let's see. Uh, every time you get hit, you lose a star. Every time you use an uppercut by hitting... By the way, the, using an uppercut is hitting the start button. You use a star. Uh, what else is there? There's a block. If you hit down, uh, it, Mac will block, and that'll be useful for some of these fights. Um, there's also a duck where you can double tap down, and it's the most useless fucking piece of shit ever. Uh, title bout. Yeah, well, shoot. Uh, third enemy of the game, and, or sorry, third fight of the game, and I'm already at the title bout. But this is only the minor circuit. You got three circuits to go. Minor, major, and world. <sighs> So, now that that's all out of the way, how the hell are you doing? Seriously, I friggin' oh man, I <laughs> I really did. I, I missed uh, doing this just because, you know, I don't know. Something about it, it just felt like the only creative thing I was doing at the time. And even now, it feels like the only creative thing I've done in the last fucking uh, year. I don't know. I'm still working on that same crap-ass job. Um... At the coffee house, just being, yeah, I'm a dishwasher at a coffee house. It's, meh. It pays well, I guess. Oh, yes, and, yeah, certain certain enemies you can just, like, if, you, if you're if you really well-timed on an uppercut or a certain kind of shot, then you'll knock them down in one hit. You just gotta memorize those exact times, and I haven't. I just got lucky there. You can also, uh, yeah, counter this guy's punch before he actually de gets the punch out. Like so. They're still relatively slow at this stage. Even this guy. This guy's this guy's probably the biggest guy we've taken on so far. And shoot, I mean, you, if you're surprised seeing this guy and how big he is, oh boy, they get a lot bigger than that. Believe me. And that's kind of a staple of NES games. You play the role of a tiny motherfucker taking on a bunch of huge ass motherfuckers. Yeah. And you might remember this cutscene as the nigga sold my bag scene. Or something like that. It's like, Nika stole my bag. Nika stole my bag. 
I don't know. All I can think about with this cutscene is, like, I can't get over his pink jumpsuit. I can't get over my pink jumpsuit that I'm wearing in the middle of New York. That is not wise, little Mac. Maybe pink was the style back then. I don't know. It doesn't even. Uh, okay. I don't know whether they call it sweatpants or or what. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, wow. What else have I? What else have I done in my life? Uh, I bought an NES. That was kind of nice. The only reason I did so did that was because you know I I thought about posting my uh, Battletoad speed run that that speed run that I posted a few months back. Um, that's actually a world record, well, sort of. I mean, it's not official or nothing, but it beats the world record by four minutes, uh, four and a half minutes actually. Um, and uh, I didn't think it was legit because it was done on an emulator, so that's why I bought the NES because I wanted to do that run again, uh, eventually get that. I, pff, I've been lazy about that, by the way. I'm actually kind of out of practice for the Battletoads game, but I, I could still do a decent speed run. And no, I'm not. I'm not gonna do one with commentary because <laughs> because I've already posted it twice. I've already posted two playthroughs of this ga of that game on this channel. And no, I'm not doing Battletoads again. <clears throat> and Mario uh, appear appearing as a cameo in this game was pretty damn cool for its time. I mean, you didn't see Mario much. There wasn't any like uh, there wasn't any like marketing and. Mario other than the Mario games at the time. I mean, there wasn't even, like, they didn't even have the Super Show. They didn't have anything. Oh, my God. And <laughs> I, I love his sound effects, too. It's like, blah, 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 It's not even saying numbers. Not that I expect them to in early NES games. Oh, boy, let's talk about the fight I'm doing here. Uh, so, yeah, King Hippo is all about, it's your introduction to learning how to counter punches. Uh, directly. So, uh, the way to know that he's going to open his mouth, that's the thats the trick. You have to hit him when his mouth is open, and the way to know that he's going to do that is he's going to shake. Um, and once you've hit him in the mouth once, you have to hit him in the stomach eight times. If you hit him in the face again, he'll block that, and you'll lose your chances to hit him in the stomach. Now, he always goes down after one KO. That little dazed, like, seeing stars thing above his head, a little crown of stars or whatever it is, that should clue you into that, that he will always stay down on the first knockdown. He's just a fat motherfucker, and yeah, there's a lot of fat motherfuckers in my life that I despise and want to do that to. But, yeah, not because they're fat, don't get me wrong. Because they're assholes. Um, jeez, I mentioned my job, yeah, my job working as a dishwasher. I'm, I'm making $11 an hour, it's nice, um... And uh, I'm turning 30 soon. Yeah, that's well. I mean, in in the long run, it doesn't mean anything. I'm not. I know I'm not going to give a crap about turning 30 in five years. I'm probably going to be obsessing over whether I'm obsessing over turning 40, if anything. But shit, something about that. Something about that tens digit in your age. That magical tens digit that just does things to your freaking brain. That. You know, shouldn't be done to your freaking brain because it, you know, otherwise makes no logical sense or whatever. Um, I'm wondering if I should keep this guy alive for the great tiger thing that he does. I don't know. Um, <laughs> you just keep doing that forever, but it's a bit more damage to do it this way. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep him alive until 2:30 just so you can see his great tiger thing. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kill him just yet. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep him alive like this. There he goes. So for this, block. Block again, block again, block again, block again, block again. And when he does that, punch him once. And it doesn't matter how much health he has, he will always go down if you just punch him regularly. Doesn't even need to be an uppercut. <laughs> and when it, like KO, you get, they, they sound like quacks more than they sound like, you know, actual numbers or words. And uh, when he says KO, he goes, wah, wah. and when he says TKO, he goes, wah, wah, wah. And fight is like quack. It does. It does this really loud, like the really emphasized, like like. Bah! <laughs> so this is how you. Uh, oh yeah, look at this. Look at this big guy here. He thinks he's all bad. You think you're bad? You ain't bad. You ain't nothing. So let's say. Oh wow. I better not. Uh, I wonder if I can even. 
I wonder if I can actually hit him with an uppercut anymore. Oh, that was close. Looks like we're gonna knock him down once here, at least. It's easy to knock him out. Uh, it's easy, like get a technical knockout before his uh, bull charge happens, and I don't know if. Well, he has two incarnations, so I really don't care if if he reaches his bull charge in this uh, stage or not, because you you know he's guaranteed to use his bull charge in the next one. Because I have no idea how to how to knock him out before that in the second incarnation of this of this fight. There you go. Two. Uh, knockdowns, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah! Uh, boy, this guy's big and mean looking. You know, the first time I saw this guy, I shit myself in fear. Just look at him. Okay, here he goes, the bull charge, and huh, yes, you just gotta time that perfect. You gotta, you gotta get the, the that stomach punch, preferably a left stomach punch do that correctly. And uh, yeah, it knocks him down one hit, no matter how much uh, health he has. A lot of bosses have that one hit knockdown. Even Mike Tyson, if you get, if you get really lucky. <laughs> and here we are at night, in that same pink sweatpants and hoodie uh, jumpsuit get up that he's got going. That is some ballsy shit, wearing fucking bright ass pink in the middle of the night, in the middle of Manhattan. This ain't this guy ain't fucking around. I mean, that is some serious hardcore training right there. That is mental hardcore training. It doesn't even look like it doesn't. Yeah, that's all one piece, isn't it? Well, there's sort of a crease in the waist, isn't there? Yeah. yeah I was gonna say it looks like a onesie. It looks like a little, <laughs> like a one-year-old girl's little onesie. <laughs> he just needs to be like it. I'm picturing him wearing like pink socks to go with that, but no, <laughs> he actually has black shoes. I also have black shoes that I used to go running like that. Of course, I don't need I don't need no people stealing my bikes. I didn't want to say the word nigga. <laughs> that would have been bad. Of course, I just said it then. So, so this is the second incarnation. This is uh, the world circuit. It is the final circuit of the game, and uh, it is the uh, it is the first time we get to see in, uh, incarn reincarnations of uh, certain bosses that we fought a while ago wasn't able to knock him down on the initial uh, advance from that piston hurricane. So blocking and then attacking four times each for each punch is the best way to do that. Three, four, five. Bang, bang, bang. Bang. Quack! <laughs> okay, I just had to catch you off guard there. No, I probably didn't. Boom. Okay, I got a star there. Oh, I lost it. I suck. Ooh. Oh, yeah, sometimes... Yeah. Oh, shit. Sometimes it hits him, and... I don't know. Come on, man. Come on, man. Do your little wiggly eyebrows thingy. Oh, that always catches me off guard. What's he gonna do? Boom. Boom. Come on. Oh, damn it. Oh, looks like we're going into round two with this guy. I hope I don't lose to this guy. This is the worst I've done in anybody. And yeah, they all have like dialogue during the uh, during the round transitions. I still remember our first fight. Now I'm gonna pay you back, Bonsai! Yeah, why are you saying that during the? Why are you yelling Bonsai during the break, dude? It's not like it's not like the round has started yet. So just calm your tits. So, Piston Hunger. I don't know if he gets. I don't know if he does anything different in the. Second phase. I don't think he does. Oh shit! I'm stupid, man. Well, there you go. Is that my first time getting knocked down? It probably is. You'll be seeing a lot more of me getting knocked down in the later fights, especially Mike Tyson. Oh, I'm dreading it. I'm dreading Mike Tyson. He is so hard. Oh, come on, man. Out of out of hearts. Every time you go, every time you run out of hearts, you uh, you get fatigued like this, and you can't punch. I can't punch. Okay. Uh. And the only way to get your hearts back is by dodging, or getting knocked down, or ending the round, which I don't want to get knocked down, and the end of a round is far away, so there you go. <sighs> I should be able to KO, he should be getting KO'd real soon here. Nope, I guess not. Still a big motherfucker. Where are you? Ooh! Ooh! Damn! 
E4. I'm gonna have to block the rest of them to E4. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes! Got it back. Here we go, here we go. Oh, what's he gonna do? Oh, he's gonna do his eyebrows. Yeah! Boom! Come on, come on, come on. Uh. Oh, we're gonna knock him down. Come on! Oh, at 259! Oh, man! Oh, man! Oh, no! He's getting up again! Oh, I thought that was three! I thought that was three!